Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm just gonna go real quick through the settings on the Atavis Ninja V to shoot 4K 60 at 10-bit 422 with the Panasonic GH5 in the HLG color profile. If you're new here, my name is Caleb and I've been doing freelance video production since 2012. But this channel is to help you make your own videos, whether you just started or you've been making them for a while, whether you use the GH5 or any other camera, if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, so I'm sitting in front of a window here and if the light changes, you know, there's like clouds going and everything, but if the light changes, I do apologize. This is just a quick setup because I just wanted to run through the Atomus Ninja V settings for HLG to get 4K 60, 10 bit 422 with the GH5. And there's a few little different things that you need to tweak when it comes to the Atomus Ninja V that would be a little bit different than shooting on the GH5 without the Atomus Ninja V. So if you're looking to shoot HLG with the Atomus Ninja 5, here is a quick setup guide that you can reference whenever you need it. And let me tell you something, I've been really happy shooting HLG these past few weeks and I did it on my first client gig here recently. And as I've said in my previous videos with shooting HLG, everything is in reference to the Leeming LUT, which I've been very happy with using with the HLG color profile. And if you're not familiar with the Leeming LUT, I will put a link down in the description. This video is not sponsored or any way affiliated with the Leeming LUT. I've just been very happy with the results that I've been getting while shooting HLG with the GH5 and with the Atoms Ninja 5. I'm just gonna toss up some clips from this client gig. It was a fun project. It was in the evening. It was this nonprofit that was having a fundraiser and they were racing soapbox derby cars. And it was just a fun, low key video shoot. And I thought it would be a good one to try out the HLG with the Atoms Ninja 5 to get that 4K 60, 10 bit 422. So here's a few clips from that client project used with their permission. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your GH5 is set up for HDMI recording out. Now I have mine set up in the quick menu, and so I just go to HDMI record output, and what I'm gonna do is do HDMI record control, and I'm gonna turn that on, and I wanna make sure info displays out, I wanna make sure down convert is off, and then I can scroll down and go to 4K 60p bit mode at 422, 10 bit, so everything's ready to roll there. And I can go into my settings and make sure that I am, first of all, in a 4K 60 setting, which here it's the 8 bit, but when you're recording out, it will record that 4K 10 bit 422. Okay, so we have the 4K 60, it's 420 8 bit on the GH5, but output it's gonna be 422. 10 bit. Next thing we want to do is actually go in and set our color profile to HLG to make sure we're in that hybrid log gamma profile to record out to the Atomus Ninja 5. So actually what I'm going to do is kind of adjust this so we can see the what's on the image just a little bit better. That's not going to make a huge difference for what we're doing, but we can at least see what's in the image. I just got some flower pots. That's all I have. All right, so now we have the Atomus Ninja 5 set up, ready to output record and record everything on the Atomus Ninja 5. So we have recording set up from the GH5 to the Atomus Ninja 5, and we can get those ProRes light files that are so buttery smooth to work with, and we can get them in HLG color profile, which has some great dynamic range with it and is very, very easy to work with using the Leeming LUT. So the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that you don't have any viewing LUTs active on the Atomus Ninja 5 because that's gonna kinda of mess up some of the settings. So don't have any LUTs active for viewing. You will be able to upload the HLG Pro LUT here so that you can actually view it, and we can see that in just a sec, but you can actually view the image with the LUT applied to kinda of get a better idea of what the 
finished product is gonna look like, but it will still record in that HLG. Okay, so one of the very first things that we're gonna to wanna to do is set the exposure to the right with the zebra stripes. And so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna to go to zebra and we're gonna set the threshold at 95%. So make sure you have the zebras set to 95% because that is how you are going to expose your image. And I found that using the zebra stripes to expose HLG footage has been very effective and very easy to use. And you get that exposed to the right image that the Leaming LUT recommends. So set your zebra stripes, the threshold to 95%. So the next thing that we're gonna do here is actually just go into the menu and we're gonna go to input. You're gonna want the log HDR off, camera set to standard, gamma to rec 709, gamma to rec 709, Turn the legalize off and HDR auto, you're gonna to wanna to set off. Some of these other things that you can do is actually set your trigger to on so that when you hit the record button on the GH5, it'll actually trigger the Atomus Ninja 5 to start recording. And then when we close out of here, we see everything else that we want like the 60 frames per second of Rec. 709. And then I like shooting in ProRes light, which I feel like is very easy to work with once you start going to edit. So one of the things that we can do since we uploaded the HLG LUT to the Animus Ninja 5 hard drive is we can actually go in here and view what the LUT looks like on the monitor so we can kind of gauge everything according to what that LUT sees, but it's still going to record in that HLG format. So you just go in here and you upload the LUT and I actually have it set on one here. So that's the Leaming LUT Pro for the HLG color profile. And so I can actually see what the image is gonna look like before I start hitting record with that Leaming LUT on there. And when I was shooting that video, I didn't have to look at everything in the HLG color. I was able to view it with that LUT on there. So I don't know if you can see it on the screen very well, but you can really tell a difference once you load that LUT in there. So really that should be everything for shooting HLG on the Atomus Ninja 5 at 4K 60 10 bit 422. All right, that's all I really have for this video. If you have any questions about HLG or anything that I should be doing, cause I'm kind of new to using HLG. If you see anything that I should be doing using this color profile, make sure you let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So like I said, the light's changing so much. So it's, I think the sun's behind a cloud right now, but it would be awesome if you stuck around, maybe watch one of these videos that's popping up on your screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.